Hi, Travis from PLSGuys.com. Today we're going over the DS2278 and pairing it with iOS and using it in iOS. Uh, out of all the retail styled uh, barcode scanners, this is the one we recommend the most um, because they added a couple new features into it uh, that makes it very accessible for iOS. So traditionally when you order a Bluetooth barcode scanner like this, it's set up to work with Windows. So it has a USB cable, it has a cradle, and then the scanner itself. Whenever you plug the cradle into your PC, then it'll work as a keyboard, keyboard wedge scanner. So wherever the cursor is, is where your barcode scanner will scan into. Um, so the form factor on it is very uh, sim familiar to a uh, cabled scanner. It's just cordless. So what they did with the 2278, because they thought it might be used with tablets, is they remove the need for the cradle. So it does have contacts on the bottom of the scanner to charge it, but it also has a micro USB port that can plug in with uh, any micro USB. So if you have an extra phone charger or even just a USB port, you plug in a uh, micro USB cable into it. And then when the scanner is connected, you can see that it is now charging. And this USB port is on the bottom of my star printer. It just has an extra charging port on it, so you can plug it in. But if your uh, stand has a power port, uh, or you just want to use a wall adapter, then you can charge the scanner through that type of thing. So it saves you a little bit of money because you don't have to buy the cradle. The cradle is really nice for charging because it's just drop in. So as soon as you set it into the cradle, it starts charging. Uh, but if you want to save yourself some money, then you can omit the cradle use. So pairing with iOS is pretty straightforward, except that the barcodes that you need don't come with the quick start guide. So we did create an easy pair guide for iOS uh, that you can download off of our website, posguys.com. We'll put a link in the bottom of this video if you want to check that out as well. So there's a couple of barcodes that you need. Um, the first thing is you need to enable iOS features. So there's a 2D barcode listed. You scan that one. And then you'll need to define how you want it to connect uh, via Bluetooth. Uh, I'm choosing to use HID Bluetooth Classic. There's also a low power mode, um, but Classic seems to work just fine. So once you do that, then it'll no longer try to sync with the base. It's now gonna try and sync with any kind of Bluetooth radio. You can see in iOS that it now detects the DS2278 there. If you click on it, it'll go ahead and pair. It's not going to ask for any kind of pin codes or anything like that. It just pairs automatically. A uh, couple other barcodes. If you're going to be charging through the micro USB connection on the quick start guide, there is a little barcode there to help charge it uh, sooner. So it's called HID device con conversion. I enable that. And then I'd like a carriage return because most of the apps require a carriage return. So I'm going to use that barcode as well. Okay, so now the scanner is connected and configured. We go into a simple notes program. You'll see the cursor on the screen. And if we scan a barcode, then it appears to the screen. And then you see the keyboard there as well. So if you scan again, hey. If you want the keyboard to go away, you double tap tap the trigger and then the keyboard goes down and if you want it to come back you double click again and it comes up double click it goes down so there's a keyboard toggle without having the need for a second button on most of the companion style scanners the little thumb scanners uh, there's two buttons on it one enables the keyboard the other one enables the scanning uh, since this has just one button it uses a double tap And then you can always make it go down by just pushing the down keyboard button as well, if you want to do that. So that's how you make the keyboard come up and down with the barcode scanner without having a second button. That's how you pair it with it. Uh, and usage in the app will depend on its ability to work with a Bluetooth keyboard. Some apps play friendly with it. Other ones require a very specific barcode scanner to be paired. Uh, I'm going to 
log into uh, Outdello Express. This is in beta right now, but it has a retail mode. This is actually restaurant software, but it does work with a barcode scanner. So if you had a mixed mode where you're selling like hats and t-shirts along with your food items and you scan the barcode, then it will look for the barcode. This barcode wasn't entered into the database, but you could see how it works. So pretty smart there. If you go to the item name and you need the keyword to come up again, you can double tap and the keyword will come up and then you can type in the name of your item. So. Good little retail scanner. It's a much more familiar and ergonomic form factor. So if you are going to be doing a lot of retail scanning, then this is definitely more comfortable than a thumb style scanner. So a good option there. Uh, the price point on this is uh, very affordable compared to the more expensive versions of the Zebra scanners. It's on their lower end, uh, but it does have, it's their only scanner that has that micro USB connection in a gun style scanner. For more information on the DS2278 or to purchase, please visit us at posguys.com.